Humans are hardwired to detect patterns in randomness. We evolved this tendency for a simple reason. It kept us alive. Assuming a rustle in the bushes is a dangerous predator when it was just the wind didn't cost us much. But thinking the rustle in the bushes was just the wind when it was a dangerous predator was deadly. As a result, we are prone to seeing patterns in random images. Last fall, Lowe says she and her boyfriend intended to make a piece of cheese toast for a late night snack. But when it came out of the oven, it was seen as the image of Christ. Her son tried to sell it on eBay, but the picture wouldn't upload. So Lowe took that as a sign that God wanted her to keep the edible image of Jesus. Now she keeps it in a Tupperware container in her bedroom, where she says it serves as a reminder that Jesus is always with her. Conspiracy theorists see patterns everywhere and draw imaginary connections between unrelated people and events. We see this in conspiracy theories about COVID-19. One conspiracy theory focuses on the £20 note released by the Bank of England earlier this year. The note features artist J.M.W. Turner. He painted at the seaside town Margate, so the note includes the Margate Lighthouse. His paintings hang in the Tate Art Gallery, so the note also includes a symbol of the gallery's iconic staircase. Conspiracy theorists have reinterpreted the Margate Lighthouse as a 5G tower, and the Tate Staircase as coronavirus. Apparently, the Bank of England are for some unknown reason sending secret messages about 5G and COVID in their currency. The conspiracy theory that 5G causes COVID is based on another form of pattern detection, mistaking correlation with causation. Just because two things happen around the same time, we mistakenly assume that one causes the other. Uh, our fridge is broken. We have to get a new one. I checked around, and your half is $400. Thanks a lot. I'm not paying for half of that. I'm only staying here until my apartment gets fixed. Look, Rich, my parents bought this fridge just after I was born. Okay? <laughs> now, I have never had a problem with it. Then you show up, and it breaks. <laughs> what does that tell you? 5G started rolling out in 2019, the same year that the COVID pandemic began. This has led some to conclude that 5G caused COVID. There are several strains of this conspiracy theory. They range from thinking that 5G transmits the virus to the virus not existing at all, but made up to hide the harmful effects of 5G. I'm hearing that these 5G towers are going up. Mm -hmm. And if they're in certain places, the frequency of that can really throw your body off. Your genetics, and, and, yeah. and, and have your body dis Ease. Uh huh. I'm not a doctor. I'm just going this, on what they were saying they about it. The danger of mistaking correlation with causation is two things can appear connected because of an extra factor. Conspiracy theorists compare maps of COVID outbreaks with maps of 5G networks to argue the two are linked. But COVID outbreaks are also correlated to population density. Highly populated regions also happen to be where more 5G towers are going up. But the correlation disappears when you look a little closer. Conspiracy theorists focus on how Wuhan installed 5G while also being the origin of the virus. Anybody want to make one guess as to where the first completely blanketed 5G city in the world was? Wuhan. Exactly. But in November, China launched 5G in 50 cities, including Beijing and Shanghai. The correlation doesn't sound quite so impressive when you consider Wuhan was just one of 50 cities. Timing also contradicts the conspiracy theory. South Korea launched 5G in April 2019, months before Wuhan. Japan reported their first COVID case in January, but launched 5G later in March. The correlation further breaks down when you consider many regions and countries without 5G, such as Iran, have been some of the hardest hit by the pandemic. When someone claims correlation proves causation, ask yourself, is there a plausible causal link? Some conspiracy theorists claim 5G weakens immune systems, making people more vulnerable to COVID. It lowers your immunity. They're not even debating that. There's no scientific evidence that 5G has any effect on human health. 5G is a non-ionizing form of radiation, meaning it doesn't damage living cells the way that ionizing radiation like x-rays and UV rays do. The World Health Organization announced that no adverse health effect has been causally linked with exposure to wireless technologies. Despite the fact that the 5G conspiracy theory is based on weak correlations with no plausible causal link, 
the myth has spread quickly around the world. Ironically, it probably spread quicker because of 5G. And while the theory seems amusing, it's also dangerous. Conspiracy theorists have been setting fire to 5G towers all over the world. Look at that. Even the birds don't like the 5G. They're pulling it apart. More broadly, conspiracy theories breed distrust of institutions and scientific experts. Right now, what protects us most from COVID outbreaks is behaviour like social distancing and wearing masks. This depends on people following the advice of scientific experts. People are less likely to do that if they distrust scientists. So how do we respond to dangerous misinformation like 5G conspiracy theories? Being aware of the traits of conspiratorial thinking is how we inoculate ourselves from being misled by conspiracy theories. If you see people detecting patterns in randomness or mistaking correlation for causation, Remember that reinterpreting randomness is one of the seven traits of conspiratorial thinking. In the past, detecting patterns in randomness helped keep us alive. But now, conspiratorial thinking is putting us in direct danger by ignoring scientific advice on how to keep safe from COVID. Fortunately, the antidote to conspiratorial thinking is critical thinking.